Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Today we'll be looking at a project called Uniqueness.com. That's Uniqueness spelled with an E. Not at the beginning, at the end. Uh, it's not Uniqueness, it's Uniquenessy. Or some shit. Welcome to the Shark Tank. My name is Joy. This doesn't look like the Shark Tank. This looks nothing like the Shark Tank. Where are the animated sharks at? I want to see the sharks swimming around in a little cesspool full of money. Lori, Robert, Mark, and Damien couldn't make it today. So be your lone shark for today's show. First up into the Shark Tank is an entrepreneur with a unique idea for a website. Hi, sharks. He messed it up already. He said, hey, sharks. There's only one shark, and that's his extremely patient, caring, and loving wife who will put up with all of his fucking shenanigans. Bless her heart. Your name defines who you are. It's your brand. It's the single word that defines your very soul. Oh, wow. That's some pretty good acting you got there. Where you go to the act? Actors Academy? It's understandable that people want to be identified for who they are and to stand out and be recognized as a unique individual. Hell yeah, unique butterflies. I can see that. I'm sure most people feel that way. <laughs> they have a fucking single frame of Robert Heredge Heredge of Hered Heretic. They have a single frame of Robert Heretic. The 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 mo the least annoying cunt on uh, the Shark Tank. Expectant parents and their family and friends take naming their babies very seriously. Much time and thought is invested into finding that perfect name. The perfect name such as Sage Moonblood, Blue Ivy, Blanket, Apple. I put a lot of time and effort into those. They're super creative. Your kid's name isn't a fucking blank canvas in a women over 50 painting class, okay? Your kid's name is the thing they're gonna take with them for their whole fucking lives. So no, your kid doesn't just need a unique name. I want it to be unique, just like my stage name. Let me make my kid's name very similar to a stage name or a porn star name. Let's name our kid Blue Ivy. Uh, we're gonna have everyone introduce themselves today. What's your name? My name's, uh, Bob. Bob Hemingsworth. My name is Blanket. Blanket Jackson. For all of you soon-to-be parents out there who can't get on board with my philosophy of not naming your kid something shitty, I will give you a wild card. That wild card comes in the form of a hermaphrodite. If your kid is born non-binary or gender-neutral, however you want to phrase it, you can name them something gender-neutral like Blue Ivy. You can take Bruce Jenner as an example. If his parents had named him Blue Ivy Jenner, then that would have saved a lot of time, energy, paperwork, explaining to do. You know, everyone would say, well, it seems about right. I mean, I think he was named Blue, Blue Ivy for a reason. Picking a name isn't easy. As we said, you can go to those dozens of baby name websites where you'll find other people's names, try to make one up yourself, or just pick a common name such as Cindy or Bill. Out of all the people you know, how many Ians do you know? I'd venture to guess I'm one of them. And then there might be one in one of your classes. You maybe knew one when you were in preschool, but it's not as if there's a run on Ians. I gotta name my son, my son something unique that no one else will have. That just makes it weirder. A teacher's never seen the name and they're gonna say, Ballerina? Who, who's Ballerina Montez? Do we have a Ballerina Montez in class? Today, even adults are changing their name, either legally or informally. Or you can become like PewDiePie. His name was Felix, and he did not like that very much. And he said, I will become like PewDiePie. So that's what he became. It's as unique as the person who will use it their whole life. Cool. That's excellent. Wow, she's really grilling him. Can, can you cool it, shark? You're kind of sharking, sharking up the wrong tree. Can we get samples? Sure. For the girls, our intelligent algorithm produces names such as Doralise, Deandra, Francina, Jolisa, Kanan, Kamitria, Verlinda, Lenika, Darcy, Aristasia, Latadina, Anelia, Renara, Lashana, Janina, Lizana, what the fuck's going on? Evika, Clarissa, Sovina, Devonda. I don't feel like these names are all that unique. I feel like I would have heard every single one of these names if I attended high school in Compton. Celeste, 
Sicilian. I don't know if this is intentional or if his algorithm's accidentally pulling from the Pizza Hut website, but I'm not, I'm not going to name my kid Lazana or Sicilian, nor am I going to name them Prosciutto or Cristini, okay? Risi, Primora, and Avitria. Cool. So beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Some of the boys' names that our system produced are Stanson, Jasic, Markson, Corlin, Mylan, Stanlin, Dax. Dax is already taken. That's that one nigga from the, the three guys in the woods having sex. Devaney, Nix with a Z. Estefan, Bramlin, Adri, Chadrick. You want your kid to be a complete douchebag in college and probably for the rest of his life? You name him Chadrick. Leslian, Lexter. Leslian, Lexter. Leslian, that's like all one name. My name is Lexter. Les, Leslian, Lexter. Not to be confused with Lesbian, Lexter. That's my next neighbor. Her, her, her. My neighbor. Deverick. Gallo, Ethelon, Dexton. He could probably just sell his technology to some drug company. Like, we can't come up with a fucking name for this drug. Can you please come up with one? Lexapro, Lyrica, Cymbalta, Codeine, Xanax. For whatever reason you don't want to name your child Viagra, there's always another iteration, like Tiagra or Miagra. The biggest obstacle, I prefer to call it a challenge, well, it's a good thing it's not called risks and obstacles. It's called risks and challenges, so you're allowed to call it a challenge, sir. The risks and challenges section isn't bad. He mentions time being an issue. He mentions the biggest challenge being the algorithm fucking up, so presumably the worst case scenario would be that it combines a name like Charles and Cody to make Chody. Oh, my name's Chody, but you can call me Chode for short. The algorithm could possibly truncate a name like Sharkisha, Nadine, and Juno to create Sharknado. That would be unfortunate. I admit, it's not a very timely joke. What I really think he should do is he should filter the suffixes and prefixes by race. So if, if you want some white names, you can go with Braylon, Brayden, Brylin, Tylin, Kaylee, Tylee, Bylee, Kylie, or Skyler. You can filter it if you're an American who has Italian Tourette's like Giada De Laurentiis. Prosciutto, but he cut the cheese. Prosciutto, whole milk, he cut the cheese. I mean, I'm certain she'd like an, a child named Prosciutto or um, Sicily or whatever the fuck this could do. I don't think this Kickstarter is very good. I think there's a lot of shitty names you need to filter out. If it's curated in some way, I think it would be better. Having said that, I'm opening up my own Fiverr, where you guys pay me $5 and I will name your child for you. I already have some sample names for you. Latuena, Zyfreak, Parquita, Glorifaquina, Queeflanda, Queeflosion, Torflalin, and Torflalin with a Z. And Torn Scrotum, that's one of them too. Hell yeah. For $10, you can get a three-year membership. $20, you get a lifetime membership. $50, you get a lifetime membership for you and two family members. As if every member of your family needs a lifetime membership to a site they will never use. He also has this uh, audio player on his Kickstarter project, so when you play that... Play some music. Not sure why that's there. But I can only imagine he meant to have it autoplay, just like if you visit his website, you'll notice that the music autoplays. I must admit, he's extremely tech-savvy, but extremely tech-savvy from a whole different generation. Alright everybody, that is going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Crap. I hope you enjoyed watching, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, remember to share it with a friend. And remember to tune in next time, when I name my child, Nathalawanya. You gonna eat those Funyuns, Nathalawanya? I taught you better than that. Don't smack. I don't wanna hear you smacking. I don't wanna hear you clanking your teeth on that fork, you little bitch. You can't call me that, Daddy. I ain't no bitch. You's a bitch. You're right. 
I am. And I'm also a terrible parent. I despise humans with a passion. 